Welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano, and this is Sagittarius, August 2013. Sagittarius, in July, you were looking at your money. You were looking at your finances. You were looking at, you know, your debt to income and really thinking about what you can do to increase your income, lower debt. You were really focused on your finances. This month in August, the energy shifts to uh, long distance travel, higher education, your beliefs, your truth, what's true for you. Leo is nine signs from you. And so Leo rules your ninth house, but you're the natural ruler of the ninth house. And so this is a very fun time, actually, because Leo is a sister sign pouring positive energy into you in August. And um, the Leo new moon is happening in this area of your life. So it's really exciting. Some of you may be going to school. Some of you may be teaching. Some of you um, may be traveling. Some of you may be um, thinking of starting a business, marketing your services over the internet, using the internet to market your services. This is a wonderful time to do this. So August is all about you taking charge of your life. Now, the uh, focus here is, uh, like I said, August is about, you know, expansion of consciousness, using the internet, using education, higher education to expand your knowledge and thus expand your uh, wealth. And uh, Uranus is in harmonious energy flow with the Leo new moon on August 6th. This is very positive. And so this is giving you brilliant ideas. This is giving you bright beginnings. This is like, hey, I can start a business. Hey, I can go to school. Hey, I can teach a school. Hey, I can travel. Hey, what do I want to do? Um, and it's really exciting and positive. It's pouring positive energy into you. And for some of you, you may meet a soulmate abroad. You may meet someone who you really have a strong spiritual connection to, a strong soul connection to, that lives at a distance from you. That could be, um, you know, in another country or on the other side of the country. Um, but it's quite possible for those of you that are seeking love that you could meet someone um, who lives at a distance from you. Now, I love this Leo new moon. It's very positive. It's very uplifting. Like I said, Uranus is, is in harmonious energy flow to both the sun and the moon. The lights are, are lit up. And uh, so it's, it's time to make changes. And it's better for you to be the agent of change rather than have change thrust on you. Pluto and Uranus are requiring you to change. The try makes it easier. Leo rules the heart. What are your heart's desires in regards to business expansion, education expansion, um, travel, uh, uh, moving? You could move far away with this aspect and love it and be like so excited that you're moving to another country or you're moving to the other side of the country. Um, it's wonderful for that. August is a really positive time for you because Leo is your sister sign and it's pouring positive energy into you. So. Um, Leo rules the heart. What are your heart's desires? It's time to be bold and creative in your self-expression. Be a conscious creator and take charge of your life. Now Uranus is in the area of creative self-expression, your Leo house, which is ruled by Aries because Aries is five signs from you. So this is so exciting for you because it's you know, a, a really uplifting energy. It's a can-do energy, and it's like putting the wind beneath your wings. Okay, Sagittarius, it's time to fly. Saturn has been in that area of spring cleaning in your psyche, how you limit yourself, how you hold yourself back, how you disown or deny your own shadow side. We, we do that in the 12th, and then we project it onto others. Um, so Saturn wants you to do more spring cleaning there, but it can be a blessing because Saturn is in harmonious energy flow with Jupiter, who's in harmonious energy flow with Neptune. And these are in very spiritual houses for you, very personal houses, the 4th, the 12th, and the 8th, very personal. They, you know, they're deep into the subconscious and the unconscious. They're deep into the past, into the future. And, um, you know, so it's a wonderful time for you to heal your own psyche, to, you know, find that hidden strength, get beyond how you limit yourself, how you hold yourself back. And, you know, Pluto is like a tail on the kite here because we have a grand trine with Jupiter and Cancer to Saturn and Scorpio, Neptune and Pisces, and Pluto is opposing Jupiter. Um, we get this at the new moon. We're going to get three of them 
um, Pluto, Jupiter will oppose Pluto three times, create three exact oppositions. And for you, this is in the financial area. But see, Jupiter is the, t the, the leader here because wh whoever is the faster moving planet gets to call the shots. Um, and so Jupiter is. And so Pluto is opposing Jupiter. And so Jupiter is, f is shooting you, pulling that arrow into your future. And Jupiter is in the area of deep intimacy. It's in the Scorpio house. But Cancer rules your Scorpio. Uh, Cancer rules your eighth house. So, so this is about deep passion. This is about money being given to you, money coming to you through loans, inheritance, royalties, uh, tax payout, insurance payout, inheritance, uh, uh, your partner's resources, and with Jupiter there, it expands wherever it is. So it's an increase of money coming to you from other people. Pluto is in the second house of earned income, opposing Jupiter and, and taking the kite, the trine, and shooting it into the future. And so Pluto wants you to examine your beliefs. Look at how your beliefs around money may be holding you back. Okay. Some of the things I like to do is um, tell a different story. We live in an attraction-based universe. There's no such thing as no on planet Earth. Everything means yes, come to me. So if you don't have money, you don't want to tell that story. You want to say money comes to me easily, effortlessly, and often. You want to say, I have more money coming in than going out, even if it's not true, because the subconscious works like a genie in the bottle. It believes whatever you tell it. In other words, if you want to get thin, you don't go, I'm fat, I'm fat. You say, I'm thin in the mirror. You look in the mirror and you say, I'm thin and you'll get thin because the, the mind controls the body and the subconscious believes whatever you tell it. And if you t feed it positively, it's going to feed back to you what you want. So if you want to change your life, you got to start telling a different story. And so for you, happening in the financial area, it's all about you creating uh, wealth. It's all about you taking charge of your life and um, the money will improve for you. Employ a new financial strategy. Make your mantras positive every day around money. You know, um, uh, uh, money comes to me all the time. I attract money all the time. That's your mantra. That's what you want to be telling yourself because that will create your real life story. And, uh, and then you're working, you're using the power of your mind to shape your beliefs and your truth for what you want. And that's what it's all about. So uh, Mercury enters Leo on August 8th, and this is about looking at your beliefs, looking at your truth. Shape those beliefs to fit you, to serve you. Okay. And uh, then Venus enters her home sign Libra on August 16th, and that's a money house for you. So again, here we go with the money. And then we have the fabulous Aquarius full moon, which is um, the second uh, full moon. The first one was on July 22nd at one degree Leo Aquarius, and Saturn was beaten on that one. On um, this one, Saturn's not touching it. Nothing's touching it. Neptune's loosely there. It's a fabulous moon. And... Um, it's positive energy, and for you, it's all about networking, socializing, using your atoms, attitude, intellects, and perception to create what you want. Leo, the, the, the sun is at, at, at the top, um, and, uh, and the full moon is in, the, in the, uh, the third house, which is all about the lower mind, ninth house, higher mind. So they're really working for you now. You can create magic this month with the power of your mind, the power of your words, the power of your thoughts, the power of your behavior, right? And so use this positive energy. Be enthusiastic. Uh, you know, it, the energy is so creative and creativity could be on an all-time high. Remember, the more you love yourself, Leo, the more you have to give others. Aquarius, and uh, then Jupiter squares Uranus, the first of three exact squares, uh, on August 21st. So you're encouraged to break free from the past, be innovative, and create the win-win solutions. So this is about using your creativity to increase your income. This is about using your creativity to um, increase your resources, your wealth. And the stronger you are financially, then the more freedom you have. And you're all about freedom, right? You want to travel. You want to, you know, work the hours you want to work. You want your freedom. You want to do what you want to do. Come on, you're Sagittarius. And so, so use August and September to get a promotion, start a new business, increase your income. And um, the planets are here helping you do that. 
And so this is about breaking free from the past and being innovative. So be innovative in your ideas for a new business or getting a promotion or making more money, you know, and, and bring that positive energy to wherever you work because that is contagious. When we're positive, people want us around. They want to promote us. They want to hire us. They want to, you know, put us in leadership positions. And so, so this is a good energy for you to look at you know, how have I been holding myself back? What is my negative self-talk, Saturn in the 12th? And let's clean it up. Let's do some spring cleaning there. Let's get out of our own way and make things happen. Take charge of our life. Um, and remember, it's better for you to be the agent of change rather than have change force on you. So what needs to change in your life? What habits do you need to shift and evolve out of? Where are you feeling stressed? Wherever you're feeling stressed is where Pluto and Saturn, excuse me, Pluto and Uranus are drilling down. And for you, it's in the financial area. It's in the creative self-expression. So it is also shared resources. So, you know, who you're married to and your partnership, looking at that and how that's working for you and how you can create the win-win with your partner, either your husband or your wife or your, your business partners, whoever you're partnering with, how can you create the win-win to increase income, lower debt or eliminate debt? Then the sun enters Virgo on August 22nd and Mercury the messenger follows the ruling planet of Virgo on August 23rd. This lights up your 10th house of destiny, okay? So use August to get ready for September because when that new moon in Virgo comes in your 10th house, you get one a year, you can get a promotion. You can move up by the work you're doing in August to take charge of your life and look at your financial strategies and how you can shift and, and change them so that they're serving you as well as that dialogue of the, of the self-talk and your beliefs. Remember, you know, you are going to use the science of the spoken word to create what you want. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. I have more money than I, than I could possibly spend. I have more money than I could possibly spend. I have millions of dollars in my checking account. Whatever works for you, say it in a way that it, it's, it's about what you want uh, rather than where you are. Then Mars enters bold Leo on um, August 27th. And so this is about traveling. This is about, like I said, going to school or teaching or marketing your services to the world, using social media, using YouTube, using Google, using all the resources at your disposal to let the world know you're here and this is what you can do because you are a can-do person. Sagittarius is all about what you can do. So love is strong for you this month with that Uranus flying up to the Leo new moon. Uh, you could meet someone at a distance or over the internet or over social media. I mean, love can happen anywhere, anytime. Money is strong. If you're applying these new uh, financial strategies we talked about and the new positive self-talk, health looks good, okay? As long as you're doing that spring cleaning in the mind, right? Focusing on your hidden strength rather than your, you know, the limitation, you know? And, and uh, spirituality is just growing by leaps and bounds. I mean, you're becoming more psychic, you're becoming more intuitive, you are just expanding spiritually. It is so gorgeous to watch, so beautiful. August is an amazing month, probably the most creative month of 2013. So be conscious in your choices. Hey, ask yourself, am I coming from love or am I coming from fear? Leo is the heart of the child, your inner child, your soul. How are you connecting to your heart? your inner child and your soul. If you were in a talent show, how would you entertain and dazzle your audience? Would you sing? Would you dance? Create a delicious meal? Perhaps you'd tell us jokes or recite poetry, for instance. The August message says that you want to demonstrate your talents, gifts, and abilities. Express your Leo. Be the heart of the child. Be in your heart. Create and play. And remember, don't stop believing. <laughs> journey. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, favoring, and sharing my podcast, Sagittarius. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And if you would like for me to take a detailed look at your personal astrology or you're interested in coaching, it's very easy. You go to my astrology page, my coaching page. You choose the length of the session you want. Once I see you've made that commitment, I email you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. We're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Sagittarius, don't stop believing. <laughs>